Welcome to airsofttech.dk. In this episode, I will show you how to install the basic electronics that was made in part one into a suppressor style tracer unit, just like this one. If you did not see part one, check out the video right here. Let's get started. Now we have the switch to turn it on, the switch to turn it off. So, turn it on, we turn it on, we can eliminate the tracers, tracer rounds. Now this is the uh, flash hider from the gun I want to use the tracer on. It's the PDR-C from Magpul. Now to make this small tracing electric into one of these that they can screw on, I found this uh, fill glass that's roughly the same size and I test fitted it on the gun and it seems to go in quite nicely. Now this has uh, threads in it. This doesn't. But I found this uh, or piece of uh, electrical wire, plastic wi wiring. Um, you can get these in almost any hardware depot. The diameter of these two is almost the same. This has no screws in it, but if I really tighten it up, when jamming it into the gun and just tightening it, then it goes on to the threads. So, this unit goes in, and this unit goes in, and the switch should be somewhere on here, and turn it into a tracer unit. Now, the first thing to do is to have this LED inserted into the plastic case. So to do this, use a drill, cordless drill, small. With a drill that matches the size of the LED. So now we want to bend up the wires. Snap the wires. Just like that. Not protruding too much. I will be taking a bit of foam for insulation. This one to be screwed on. I want roughly this amount of room. I want this to go on there, so I want to cut it there. And now that I've cut it to size, I can do a test fitting. It goes in there pretty well. But 
but now it's kind of obvious that I hate the power wires way too short. So now I changed up the wiring, so, wiring, so I have, as you can see, a lot longer wire. Just turn this around so it's it's almost not against. So that's it. So now we need to make a hole in here. So, time for the super glue. I'm going to do the same thing to the cap here. Oh. So it's time to give it a nice coat, black paint. First, you align all the LEDs so that they have the positive on the same side and the negative on the same side. Then you just wire all the sides up so that all the negatives is wired together and all the positives are wired together. To install it in the unit, just cut out a piece and tape it so that the LEDs poke through. I use cardboard to extend the unit size so that everything fits inside the tracer unit. And tape is quite nice to hold everything together. Now you know how to make a tracer unit, but as I pointed out in the video, when installing tracer units into pressels, the BBs don't have very much time to get illuminated. So make sure you add enough LED power when making a suppressor style tracer. Hop up unit installation requires a lot less power and can be done using only a single 3mm LED as shown in the next episode. Thank you for watching.